of months ago, I took an entrance exam to enter a new school for high school. In this exam, I was instructed to write a narrative based off the topics that they had provided. As I was sitting and selecting a topic to write, one prompt caught my eye. Write about a significant moment in your life. And so in the time span of 50 minutes, I shared my story. Growing up, I was seen as an outgoing kid. I would carelessly dance in front of my neighbors and talk non-stop, even if it was in English or in Thai, even if my Thai accent sounded a bit off. I was, well, quite crazy, as you could put it. My neighbors, my parents, my friends, even my teachers knew me as the extroverted, energetic kid. But as I grew older, like most people, I became insecure. I stayed in my comfort zone, I was conscious of my actions, and I didn't take chances or risks because I knew I was going to fail anyway, so why bother? That was the mindset I had. I thought that if I tried, I would fail. And if I failed, it would be a public embarrassment and my self-confidence would drop even lower. Because of my insecurities, I became quieter around my neighbors, who were the people who saw the most of who I was in my childhood. They would ask questions like, why don't you talk? Why don't you speak Thai? What happened to the old you? In my school, Every quarter, our music class had had to perform in front of the whole entire school for our practical exam. I loved singing, and my sixth grade self imagined myself on a stage with a big smile, singing my heart out. However, quite the opposite happened. Every time I performed, I was shaking, but deep down, it was because I wanted to at least try to be the person I wanted to be. The expectation of my magical transformation definitely did not start at the auditions of the musical. Let's just say some tears were shed out of fright. However, I still managed to make it through and got my position in the musical. For the first rehearsal for the play, I felt so out of my comfort zone. I was in a room full of people I had only walked past a number of times and I never had a proper conversation with. But I had no choice to contribute to the activities that were given to us. Introductions, icebreakers. I felt so uncomfortable throughout the whole entire experience. However, it was something I would have never done if I had the choice to. And that itself was an accomplishment and a start to what was to come. Finally, the day of the musical came. Although I was nervous, I was also excited. I remember before going on stage for the first time, my heart was beating out of my chest and my palms were clammy and there was a huge weight on my shoulders. When I got off the stage for the first time, I felt relieved. The huge weight on my shoulders had disappeared and I was so happy. The rest of the performance went smoothly and I didn't feel uncomfortable throughout the whole experience. But the moment I will always remember was during a song in the play. As we sang the last note and slowly exited the stage, I heard something. My own voice. For the first time, I heard my own voice. You may be thinking, how could you have never heard your own voice before? Or, how is this moment significant? Well, yes, of course, I've heard my own voice before, but never in the way it sounded at that moment. To others, I was just singing a high note, but to me, I saw my future self in my voice. My voice told me something, that I had the power to change to a better version of myself because that was what I heard in my voice strong, loud, clear, confident strong, loud, clear, confident I like my shaky tone in my previous performances that was the person I aspired to be 
and that was the person I slowly became. Now, I take opportunities. I get out of my comfort zone more often, and I sing with much more confidence than I had compared to my previous performances. I stand up for what I believe in, and now my neighbors say, your accent is clearer. I became a better version of myself, not by dreaming and waiting for it to happen someday, but making it happen. And although today I am not completely confident and strong like I wish to be, I am getting there. The one thing I can share with you today is this. From my experience, I've learned that confidence is like a box. It can limit you from your actions, limit you from what you think you can accomplish. But when you learn to open the box and realize that there's more, your confidence will grow outside the box you created for yourself. And at that point, you're not limited anymore. You take more opportunities. You experience things that you would have never before. And guess what? The word yes isn't as scary as you made it to be.